Hello everybody, welcome back to the workshop. So, don't adjust your TV sets or your iPhones or whatever you happen to be watching this on. Uh, you are seeing it correctly. This is a piece of angle iron. So, in this pro tip, I'm going to talk about how us as metal workers, we are not exempt for checking our pieces of material for straightness or for things to be running true. So, I get, I see this all the time down at the scrapyard, any new steel supplier, this is actually new steel that I had bought. Um, and you usually don't notice this if you're just using a little short piece. But like in carpentry or lumber work, how you would take and sight down a piece of wood to make sure it's not twisted or it's got some weird warp or bow in it, you need to do the same thing with your metal before you get started on any sort of welding project or something that's going to require the full length of the bar. Because you just might be shocked that it's not always square. Now, I don't know if you guys can tell from this reference point, but the end there, this is directly in line with, say, that power hammer back there, the anvil of that power hammer. And if you notice, this here is further apart than that out there down at the power hammer. And the reason for this being is this piece has a warp to it. And I don't know if you can see it, but it warps that away. So it warps that way as it goes. Not only does it warp in that direction, but it also warps slightly up as it goes down through this piece here. This is a head trippy, isn't it? Real head trippy. Anyways, <laughs> I'm watching this on the little screen here that I've got, a little flip out screen. Try not to make you too sick with this. Uh, why is this important? Well, this is important if you want to build a straight and square trailer frame, if you want to take and build a uh, whatever, a fireplace frame. That's what I'm building tonight or what I've been working on is a fireplace frame. And I just thought that this would be a great handy pro tip for somebody out there that you know, you get something all welded up because you assume that the factory has produced a perfectly square piece. And a lot of times they do. It is square when it comes off of the roller or the mill and it cools down and it's nice and flat and square and the whole bit. But what ends up happening is these come in longer lengths, say a 20 foot or a 24 foot length of material. So it stays, it's a big giant length of material. And what happens? they take and they fork truck this stuff. So there's a big bundle of it, it's all together, it's all bundled up, supposed to be to try to help, you know, minimize any sort of buckling or bending that may occur. But what do the guys do with a fork truck? The forks are about four feet apart, maybe. If they got a wide one, they might get six foot apart, spread the forks if they want to go that far with it. But they drive right in the center of the stack and they pick it up. Well, what happens? It bends it. It always warps it. And I have not found yet one straight piece of angle iron or tube steel or anything really that has been in a longer length at the scrapyard and I have found a nice square piece. Now, if you buy something that's in an eight foot length or less than 10 feet, uh, something like that, or you buy a six foot length of it, it may still be slightly warped or just a little bit out, but it's so minuscule over the length of six feet, you don't even notice it. Uh, but that minusculeness gets highlighted when it goes across a full length of material like this. This happens to be a 12 foot length of angle iron. I got it because it was cut off. They had cuts off. Somebody only wanted a certain amount of foot and this was like a 22 foot bar that they had. So, so it was a cheaper, it was a better deal. But again, it was on a longer bar and apparently they cut off the straight end because I've got the warped end. So I just wanted to take and show that to you that not always when you get a warp in your material after it's all said and done is that warp put there by you a lot of times it's just from the manufacturer of the metal and the steel. So be aware of that warp. There's really nothing you can do about it if it's manufactured that way, but be aware that it's there so this way you can compensate for it either in your welds or in your design as you go along. Uh, of course, if you're just gonna heat this thing up and beat the ever living tar out of it for some other pur special purpose, none of this matters to you in the first place. But again, you can just be aware that 
metal isn't always true in square from the factory. So that's it for this pro tip. I hope it'll help some of you out there, give you a little bit of creative thought next time you're down at the, your local scrapyard or steel supplier, and uh, give those a, you know, give things a good once over before you buy something that's all twisted and contorted that you have to put a lot of extra man hours into. If you like this video, remember to leave a like. Watch some other videos on the channel, that always helps us out. And of course, if you love to support videos like this and everything that Jessica and I do with trying to help you guys build your businesses out there and educate you on a daily basis, a great way of doing that is checking out our website at blacksmithpdfs.com. Uh, link for that will be in the description down below. Go over there and give it a little gander and uh, just tell us what you think. Anyways, that's it for today. God bless you, and we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.